Welcome to the Nav Viking tutorials. I'm Johannes Goodmanson, founder of Anecta, a Microsoft Dynamics NAV Gold certified partner. Hello and welcome to the Coffee Mac tutorials. Uh, we are going to keep going with Power BI with Business Central. Wow. Uh, I'm just kind of being pushed into Power BI here. I, oh, okay. So I really like Power BI. Um, just it's a reporting tool and we are doing Business Central. So, and I only have two videos a week. Um, but uh, oh, hey, let's, let's do it. 365 forces you everywhere. I might just have to do more than two videos a week uh, if I'm just gonna start covering any uh, ground here. But um, yeah, you can put it in the comment if you want more than two videos a week, but we will see. Um, but anyways, I am here in Power BI. I'm sorry, in Business Central. I got the Power BI report here. This is a Power BI report that I created uh, in the past two videos. Uh, if I go into Power BI, you can see that uh, close this out here. You can see that I've connected it to dates. Dates was kind of the issue of last video, which we uh, figured out by creating a date table within uh, Power BI. This was great. And now this is all hooked up to dates, so I can actually move this around here, and things change. Whoa, awesome. Now what I wanted to do is go like, hey. It's nice to see these columns here, uh, and this moves with uh, months here and all that. But uh, let's let's put some more slicers and let's clean this up. To be honest with you, when you have business intelligence uh, stuff, it's nice to be able to you know play with the figures and all that. But it's even nicer when it looks nice. I mean, I know hardcore people out there are like you know what number is a number we're running a business and who cares how it looks but you know we like things nice around us right so we like things pretty um so so let's at least try to make it a little bit prettier um i don't know if you noticed but i actually changed the headings here from uh from being something weird they were like uh, with an underscore sales amount. Um, they both sounded the same. So I changed them to actual sales amount, estimated sales amount. And all you have to do to do that is to go into the tables right here uh, and just right click into properties and you can then change it. Uh, you can actually rename it here uh, as well. Um, so I did that for those which fixed the naming of these two. Now, another thing that would be nice is instead of looking at all of these, wouldn't it be nice to be able to see it uh, more by item category? So, and also, wouldn't it be nice to actually, uh, or at least filter by item category, to see uh, columns? I like columns better. So all you have to do is click on the visualization over here and click on columns and look, it changes it immediately. So now I have, uh, how much we sold actual and how, how much we estimated to sell for each one side by side. So you can see we're a little bit below on some of them and we don't even have estimates on the others. So we should go back to uh, accounting or, or sales management, go like, hey, give an estimate on everything. All right, so we did that. Now with the item category, how do we do that? Let's add a slicer. So we pick a slicer over here. Now this, I know if you've been working with Power BI a lot, uh, this is obvious to you and no big deal, but maybe there are some people out there that's just looking at Power BI and thinking, maybe we should start using that. And this is kind of a great intro uh, that I'm doing right now, how easy it is once you have things connected together to actually throw in visuals. So in this visual, we uh, want to do an item category. And so I just go into the item ledger entries and pick item category right here. Um, actually, let me pick that from the item cart. So, so I gotta be proper. Uh, the item card is right over here and I pick item category. Oops. Let's throw this out, get the slicer. Item. So the reason why I'm looking at the item category on the item card rather than the item ledger entries, even though it exists in both, is because in the item ledger entries, 
uh, they are not connected to item budget entries, so I might just be filtering the item entries. So you have to filter kind of the top entity. Anyways, um, so over here, I can just click on table, and now I only see tables. Or I can click on tiers, and I only see tiers. So this is nice because you might want to see how you're doing in total on those things. Um, so right now we have the item category code. We got this. Um, so this is looking good. Uh, let's go ahead and publish this and see a better view on Business Central. So I'm going to just save this as test five. As you can see, I've been testing a lot. And uh, I just publish. And I publish it into my workspace. And now it's just throwing it up into the cloud. Success. Now it's there. So now I just go into Power BI over here. And Microsoft wants feedback. Not right now. Okay. So <laughs> uh, let's just refresh my workspace. And let me just go ahead and take a look at um, over here. Workspaces, my workspace, reports, and now you can see test five is already in. Uh, and I can take a look at it in Power BI. And just worth noting, I'm always plugging this into Business Central, but this could be exposed uh, in other ways. I can actually invite people to look at this report over the net without even going into Business Central. So uh, I can just share it over here and maybe we should do a video about that. Hmm. Well, anyways, <laughs> if I go back to Business Central right here, and this is my Power Report, Power BI report, I want to go ahead and select a report, get the list of reports. I have test number five. I enable it. Now it's working and I want to select it. And now what do we have? Now I have my new report right here. I know this looks small. And in a previous video, I made everything really big so we could use this, and like, but it still works. But also what you can do is just go in here and say expand report. And then you're looking at it like that. So like even if it's small and you don't want to make all the fonts like crazy big because they look ugly when you expand, you just expand it. It's no big deal. And it's in Business Central. And you got all the numbers here, everything looks prettier. So Power BI, pretty cool. Um, we'll definitely be doing more Power BI in my videos uh, and connecting into Business Central. So I hope you got something out of this. Thumbs up if you did. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. Until next time, take care.